Hey yo guys, what is up? My name is Bruce Jarvis, you want to call me either way today. We're going to be reacting to Red vs. Blue Complete Season 9. I am pretty excited for this one. As we were left off, we see Church being trapped inside, um, I forgot what it was called, but he's trapped and let's see how he gets out in three. My name is Leonard Church, hmm. but nobody calls me Leonard. Most people call me Church. Sometimes they call me Alpha, and a few people even know me as the director. But I haven't been called that in a really, really long time. You see, I know that when you look at me, I know I look like a super badass space warrior, but I'm really not. I'm actually a... Hey, Church! Uh, <clears throat> just, uh, just ignore um, I'm actually a computer program. Been reincarnated mm. in the memory of Church. I'm actually a computer program. Hey, Church. It's been reincarnated in the memory of Church. Who are you? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna start over. I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Church. Hi. Church. My name is Leonard Church, Church. but nobody calls Dude. me Church. Come on. <laughs> God damn it! What? <laughs> what? What? Come on. Get up here. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. God damn it. <laughs> oh man. Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. What's going on over here? Or hey, church, help me out. I don't know what the fuck to do it. <laughs> oh, shut up. God, I forgot how much this place sucks. <laughs> now, when he gets up there, remember the plan. Plan? What plan? We only have one shot at this. Don't let it fall apart. Why are you talking to me like this is supposed to make sense? Is this another one of your idiot schemes to make church your best friend? Okay, shh. Remember, let me do the talking. Do the talking about what? Talk about update. <laughs> okay, aboard. The plan did not work. That was it. Okay, now I actually want to know what was the plan. What was the plan? Was saying hi. What was next? Were you gonna wave? Aboard. 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 What aboard. Guys, uh, <laughs> what do you guys want? Dude, are you fucking dying? You sound like my vacuum cleaner when it picks up a penny. <laughs> I'm just a little uh out of breath. I'm not used to this. It's been a while since I uh had a human body. Oh God, I know. I. I hate having one of those. It, it, like, it always wants to pee. Like, all the time. What the fuck is everyone talking about today? Did I miss a staff meeting? What other body would you have? It's, uh, it's a long story. Remind me to tell you sometime. So, uh, what's up? What's going on? We have movement over at the Red Team space. I thought we should check it out. Actually, I thought we should ignore it, but there's really not anything else to do. Movement? What kind of movement? The right kind. Remember that new vehicle they got? They've been mm. making modifications to it. Well, that doesn't sound good. How are they modifying it? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Wait, you've been up here watching them all this time. Can't you make a guess? Well, I don't know, man. They sure as hell ain't installing a stereo. Thanks. Caboose, what do you think it is? Yeah, actually, I was going to say stereo, but now it seems like a bad idea to say that, so now I'm going to say radio. That's the same thing, idiot. Yep, I know, but I still think I won somehow. Here, let me see the sniper rifle. I'll check for myself. Do you even know how to use that thing? Do I know how to use it? Of course I know how to use it. Don't, uh... Hey, where's the, uh... How do I make it do the thing? The, the, the thing where everything gets closer, everything gets closer and bigger? How do I do the closer? You look for the scope, dude. You mean zoom? Zoom. Yeah, that's it, zoom. What do I always change? Do I say zoom? Zoom. Zoom. Rifle. See, this is why you're not great with the rifle, Church. Shut up. Hey, I didn't say word, dude. <laughs> I say word, dude. Okay, that'll do her. Fire it up, boss. Let's test this bad boy out. Simmons, hop up. Hopping. Huh. Yeah, it looks like they've modified their Jeep. They changed the turret. What is that, like some kind of radar dish? I think it's a rocket launcher. You can't fire rockets from a Jeep, dumbass. There'd be too much, uh, torque or something like that. It's probably some kind of, like, microwave transmitter. Well, they were loading rockets in it earlier, so unless they were microwaving explosives for a tasty snack, it's probably a rocket launcher. Oh, great. 
Hey, didn't you hear what I said? I want a snack. What? Yeah, I don't know. I think Turk is right. I'm pretty sure I just talked to Uh, okay, sure. Don't say it like that. I think the weapon is equally as effective no matter where it hits them. Start stopping, Simmons. Okay, okay. I don't know. That's the chick who was working on the jeep. It's not a girl tucker. He just wears pink armor. The guy. It is? Slide a shred. I'm sure. Uh, then I suddenly feel pretty awkward about something I did 20 minutes ago. During no time. What the hell is a low time? What the hell is a low time? What happens in a low time stays in a low time. What do you do during a low time, Caboose? Uh, I do. Many years ago, Project Freelancer. Many years ago. Operatives are in position, director. Ooh, animation. I. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's um. If I may say, sir, my Leonard L. Church, the original one. Be the best team for the job. The system will determine what's best, counselor. The system will determine the order. Send them in. I. But send who in? Christ, is it cold or what? Huh? How cold do you think it is? It, it has to be below freezing, right? Well, there's ice, so yeah, freezing. Patrolling in the ice. Give me a fucking break. Mm. You know who doesn't have patrol in the middle of the night in the ice? I'm sure you'll tell. Uh, the voices. I bet James They're so familiar. Right? Who are they from? Back in his rack with his big fucking melon head on a soft pillow. Yeah, it's Jenkins. You know I had terminal uh -huh. duty eight weeks straight. Eight weeks, man. Oh, Eight weeks, and I man. One fucking comment about oh, the CO to Jenkins, great. and the next thing you know, I'm out on patrol. Cool. Jenkins gets my terminal duty, and I get to freeze my ass off out here with Murphy. Hmm. Come on, Murphy. Hey, where are you, Murph? Stop messing around, Murph. Murph. Yeah, I'm in here. Thought I heard something. Oh yeah? What'd you hear? A ghost? <laughs> oh, blood. Hmm? Oh, that is dark. Something like that. Oh wait! Oh wait, wait, wait. Ah, that, that's her. That's her. Forgot, forgot. Um. Hey, we clear? From uh, season eight or seven? Yeah, you're clear, oh, wait, wait. Seven. Season seven. That's her. So wait, we're, we're seeing Washington's backstory? I'll be like, I, I'm gonna walk back and walk sideways. <sighs> oh, ouch. Ah, oh, shit. S uh, get loud. 
It's like, son of a bitch. So much for keeping quiet. South, meet me at the helipad for extraction. Roger. Might need a minute. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is sick. Oh, started with the dick, ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, this is epic. This is getting awesome. Uh, uh, all these awesome fight scenes. Wait, did Monty do this one? I don't know anymore. This, uh, I love it. Oh come on! Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Should have been smart about it. Well, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Uh, think I could take about fifty of them. How about you? How about you save your jokes until we get out of this? Where the hell is extraction? Attention assholes! Stand down, you're surrounded! Give us the data file now! You will be taken into custody! We can either do this uh, the I love the music! Way or the hard way! There is no escape! So Wait. give us the damn is that data file! Text? I'm guessing that's text. Dude, this music's awesome! What's going on? <laughs> son of what? What's she doing here? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I love that lot. Okay. Oh wait, it's My blue. Turn. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> Uh, hey man, uh, hate to bother you, but I think that's my rifle you're holding. What the hell are you talking about? Just grab any rifle. Dude, like, dude, that's Ian! A pile of rifles. That's Ian! Like right that's Ian and Anthony, Anthony Smosh! <laughs> oh, it's great to see those guys. Great to see those guys. Anthony and Ian. <laughs> great job, guys. Great job. That was intense. Nice shot. Hit them again. Oh, we're back to them. <laughs> Did we hit them? I don't know. Hard to tell. Miss bitches! God damn it. I have a plan. We need to use stealth. Great idea. Okay, let's try this. Sir, you lay down some cover fire. Simmons, the two of us can sneak around their backside and slip on in. Okay. Just saying stealth was enough, man. We don't need to expand on good ideas. Especially after other people have already agreed to them. Sounds good, sir. I mean, wait, I'm the sir, but we should do that. Make it so. Hey, hey this is wrong. Oh, hold on a second, ceasefire. Who the hell is that? It's one of the blue guys. He's just walking up here by himself. <laughs> that guy is fucked. Totally. He's gonna get totally fucked. Okay, see, right there. <laughs> hey, guys, hold up, you hear? Hello? What the hell? Ceasefire, man, it's me. Yeah, we know it's. 
you, dipshit. That's why we're shooting. I just want to talk for a second. Yeah, so what? What does that mean? Yeah, you know, I just want to talk to you about... Uh... Something. Oh, shit. I think I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up, didn't I? You guys don't know who I am. Maybe we should give him a chance. You guys don't know who I am. <laughs> some intel oh my gosh, they forgot about him again. I always wanted to hear that. I want to shoot him. Okay, just to be clear, I understand what you meant by that. I get that you want to shoot him with bullets. Red hot bullets. Please. Yes, come on. Oh. Let's hear him out. <laughs> then you shoot him. How about I just wound him? Then he can still talk, and I get to shoot him. That's a win-win. Not for me, I get shot. Okay, how about that? <laughs> Not for me, I get shot. In exchange for you getting to say what you need to say. Five minutes of talking for one shot. Where do you want it, Blue? The shoulder or the foot? Well, obviously I would pick the foot, but I don't want you guys to shoot me in the deal. What happened? One of the Reds just shot Church in the foot. Yeah, no, it was fucking hard. Do you think we should try to... <laughs> I don't really see how we can. I can't really get a clear shot of Church from this angle. Ow. <laughs> You're a bunch of dicks. I just got this foot. Four minutes left. I just, just want to say... You guys are all mixed up. You're doing it wrong. Doing what wrong? This, your team. Like, where's Griff? He's in the base, cleaning up. He loves to keep things tight. That is wrong. See, that is so right. wrong. Is Griff is lazy. They got all confused somehow. Griff isn't tidy at all. He's filthy. You gotta wash his hands for a week and hear you say that. Griff, come on, get out of here, man. I'm doing my second coat of floor wax. That's oh, this is wrong. This is so wrong. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They could be doing a better job. How? Uh, I just want you guys to feel like you're reaching your full potential. I know I am. Me too. My potential is so full, I feel like I can fill up a couple other soldiers' potentials. Bad you can And Donut, come on, man. This isn't you. You're supposed to be, you know, free-spirited. Not some kind of repressed, overachieving jarhead. One minute left. Oh. It's spot on. Okay. Great. Okay. Remember just about all I want out of this guy. I I'm leaving, but just remember, this isn't the way things are meant to be. You know it, and I know it. Donut, you're a nice guy. You're not a jerk. Try expressing yourself a little bit. You know, like, start keeping a, uh, like a journal or a diary or something like that. <laughs> uh, 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 what? Never mind, never mind, I'm leaving. Never mind, never mind, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Ow, okay? Ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. ow. How did he know about my diary? <laughs> Donut! Don't track mud in here! You know better! What do you think, sir? <laughs> Hard to say, sir. He was talking nonsense, but he sounded so sure of himself. I think he should count himself lucky just to get out of this one alive. Incoming transmission, I got it. This is vehicle 479 are responding. Go for secure. Secure. Hello, Agent Carolina. Good morning, Phyllis. Oh, nice Sheila. Bad time. You sound occupied. The LZ got a little hot. We may be late to the rendezvous, but we'll get there. Don't leave without us. Understood. It sounds like the director was right to send you along to assist the team. Seems that way. Can't say everyone on board feels the same. All agents accounted for. Excellent work. Phyllis, I see a blank spot in the headcount. Please verify. We will see you at the rendezvous, Agent Carolina. Fly safe and have a nice day. Roger that. Carolina out. South, check our six. Heads up! We got company back here! Ooh, yes! More action! Who are your friends? Just some people we met at the party. They seem nice. They seem nice. Working on it. Oh, what's that noise? 
They have missile lock. That's bad. Yes, that's bad. Take evasive maneuvers. I'm trying. <laughs> we'll try harder. Hey, Sal, do me a favor, would you? What? Thank you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So yeah, Bobby works. Countermeasures depleted. North, get moving. I'm clearing you for equipment usage. Whatever you're gonna do back there, do it fast. Stay safe, kiddo. North! North! Oh. Oh, we can see their face. Oh, here goes nothing. Ooh. Hold up, hold up. There's the rendezvous. If we're gonna make it, you better punch it. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh yeah! That is awesome. Mother of <laughs> we will have oh, medical man. personnel waiting for you in the landing bay. Welcome home, 479er. Thank you, Phyllis. Good to be home. Ow. 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 Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, thanks for helping me while the race just shoot me in the goddamn foot. Yeah, well, you told us to stay on the cliff, and I did. Yeah, that was helping. Oh, really? Then why aren't you on the cliff right now? Oh, I thought the helping part was over. Ow. Ow. <laughs> That's a kid. Ow. Back already? Uh. Already. It took me half an hour to limp across this goddamn canyon. Yeah, but we thought they were going to kill you. I expect you back. Never. So in my mind, you're early. Shut up. He is right about two different times. <laughs> Shut up, too. All right, well, now the helping part is definitely over. Damn it. This is exactly what I get for trying to fix things. What are you fixing? Everything. Us. The Reds. Trying to make things the way they're supposed to be. Ah. What? Are you okay? Am I okay? Do I look okay? Do I sound okay? I don't know. You're wearing full body armor and bleeding. That means you're either dying or just whining. Well, I'm hurt. All right. You want me to call command? Have him sit a medic? No. No, no. Medic. I'm not hurt that bad. Besides, those guys are just bad luck. I already called command. You did? Caboose, you're not allowed to use the radio. Right, unless it's emergency. And then I can use it to call command. And also 800 numbers I see on TV. Those are free to call. 800 numbers? Damn it, Caboose, what did you order this time? Nothing. Caboose? Nothing. I, I promise you'll not see anything Nothing. here that I ordered. Nothing at all. For at least six days. Damn it. Six to eight weeks. What the hell is she talking about? Well, you sound upset. You probably want some beef jerky. They'll be ready in six to eight weeks. You ordered a food dehydrator, didn't you? Oh, you won't be so bad when we're storing twice as much ammo as we normally can. For the billionth time, Caboose, you can't dehydrate bullets. You actually order all those stupid gadgets that you see on TV? Maybe. Sometimes. And that special <laughs> forces person also. You idiot. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, yes. Yes, they are sending someone to help us. Command is. Yes. Unless it's bad. In which case, I don't know what you're talking about. What? They aren't supposed to send anybody till after I die. We thought you were dead, dude. You walked into Red Base. Caboose, did they say who they were sending? Uh, uh yes, they definitely did. Who are they sending? Okay. Do you remember who they... No. God damn it. <laughs> damn it. I don't know who. Damn it. Stop right there, Simmons. Is it danger? The blues? No, you are not walking across my floor with those boots. I just mopped it. Griff, there's no time for this. Time for oh my this. gosh. A job well done? There's always time for that. I believe you know my motto. You don't have a motto. That's right, because there's always something more productive that I could be doing. Who has time to sit around making up mottos when they could be buffing the floor? Well, I need to get through. 
Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait five more minutes. It's not that long. Just do what I do, count to three a hundred times. Why wouldn't I just count to 300? Because doing things three times is fun. Turning off light switches, locking the door, turning off light switches, <laughs> and turning off light switches twice. Twice. Right. I should probably say it a third time, just to make sure that no one I love dies. Turning off light switches, there, that feels better. Dude, you have an issue. <laughs> I also have a clean floor, which you can't walk on. But I need to get Simmons. You know the rules, and what happens when we abandon the rules? Everybody gets germs and dies. Oh, silly me. I forgot the reason I came in here. Sarge wants you to take a break, Grim. You're on break right now. A break? Um, not familiar with the concept. Just stop working. Relax. Relax. Huh, yeah, right. And how exactly would I go about doing that? Is there like a manual I could read or something? Just I... stop cleaning. Do nothing. What happened to Donut? He's in his bunk, reading that book he always reads. What book? Dunno. I don't ask, he doesn't tell. It's got flowers on it. Flowers? It drawings of things, like hearts. He likes to read it and cry. I'm not crying! Sarge needs your help, Donut. We're building a robot using that robot building kit Command sent us. I'm not really feeling up to it today. That blue guy have you depressed? You're bothered by what he said, aren't you? Maybe. Why did you Maybe. I didn't even know you had feelings, Donut. Well, I do, okay? Whatever. <laughs> Come help us if you want. Up to you. Okay. I'll be out in a minute. We're in red base. Bring my head together. Need to clean my weapon. Maybe light a few candles. Uh... Candle's really not the best light source for field stripping a pistol. Ugh, not everything is about function, Simmons. What did I say? Huh? What? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was kind of doing nothing. Looks like Donut got tracks over your shiny foregrip. Yeah, oh well. I'm on break anyway, right? Why should I get the <laughs> Yay! That felt really it worked. good to say that. Ugh, what is wrong with everyone? Man, I hate when things change. change. <laughs> We got Griff back. <laughs> Griff doing nothing, being lazy. The you recovered has pinpointed the location of a very important target for Project Freelancer. Excellent work. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Counselor, please update the board. That is all. North. Um, Washington. I thought you said the mission was a success, sir. One of the mission objectives was stealth. Your carelessness revealed our intentions and made our next mission more difficult. They'll be ready for it. Dismissed. That's her face. Hmm. Think I should talk to her? No. Maybe we give her a minute. Okay, caboose. Think back. Called command about the special forces person. <laughs> oh, we're in blue base now. Boom, blue. We're not in red. We are now in blue. Roger. Roger. Somewhere between those two. Goodbye and hello are not the important parts of the conversation. I know, and my name isn't even Roger. Although that is a very cool name. I wonder if it fits. It's Michael. Shut up. Roger, don't put that in your mouth. Roger, put that down. Roger, will you please be my best friend? Side charge. P.S. Your new name is the best. I like it. Side charge. Again. What did they tell you in the middle? What did they say? I need you to focus, Caboose. Uh, I need you to focus, Roger. Okay. They said that if <laughs> one of our troops was hurt, and since we're outnumbered, they would send us a special agent to help us recover. And they said that agent would be here. Yes. No, no, not, not yes. When? When I was on the call with him. I mean the special agent. No, <laughs> oh the operator. When? When I call command. How's what they tell me? Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh. Just go through this step by step, okay? This is me, man. Yes. And they I, I'm caboose. It's like, I'm trying to like make sense when of the conversation. When did yes. they say the special agent was coming? Uh, right before they gave me my new nickname. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, just forget it! No, see, it's Roger now, remember? I know it can be confusing sometimes. Church, you have to keep up. Hey, Roger, what's wrong with Church? Oh, I don't know. He's having trouble understanding something. You know how he is. Wow, guys. Your robot is looking Wait great. Wait a minute. They're going back to square one. Oh, I was good with the seeds. You know what they say? Necessity is the mother of... Hey, Sarge. Can I ask you about something? Sure. Go ahead. Um, in private? Oh, sure. Yeah, I get it. Don't want me around? That's fine. No big deal. Don't want me around? I mean, That's fine. No big deal. <laughs> Right, you know, talking about me? Be right back, Simmons. Sure you will. Just sure you will. Said. Watch 
<laughs> you ever have, you know, feelings and stuff? Feelings? Sure, all the time. Who doesn't? I just want to talk to someone about some thoughts I've been having. Thoughts? About life and stuff? Yeah. And you always seem so interested in the men and how we're doing. Well, that's my job. Lay it on me. I'm all ears. Sheila, turn on. Hey, <laughs> uh, activate. Uh, uh, oh, Phyllis. Phyllis, I command you. Start. What the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to turn on the damn tank. By yelling at it? Why don't you just use a key? You have keys for the tank? Nah, they didn't send them. Uh, thanks, you're a big help. Me? I'm not the one yelling at the tank. Hey, the TV is on the fridge, too. You want to come inside and yell at it? Maybe you can insult its mother or something. I need to get the tank running before Tech shows up. Right. The secret agent who also just happens to be your girlfriend. It's complicated. And you think if you have a tank, that's going to impress her. No, I need it to defend us in case things get a little out of hand with her. Like I said, it's complicated. Yeah, complicated. I had a girlfriend once. Nobody cares. I met her on the internet. Oh, man, your girlfriend is a dude. Her name was Amelia. She was Amelia? All the time. That was high maintenance. Letters yeah. from a family. Letters about stuff I ordered online. Even about investment opportunities in other countries. What? That's an email. <laughs> Your girlfriend's name was Amelia. I think it was email. Where do you think <laughs> email. She was always there for me. Until I forgot our special word. You mean your password. She never forgave me. Well, then I guess you should have made out with her sister, voice Amelia. Oh, she talked too much. She always blinked at me. Oh, you stupid tank. Just start, dude. Give it up. Stop working on the tank. You can't pick up chicks in a tank anyway. What? Actually, now that I say it out loud, I guess you could pick up chicks in a tank. Well, I could. You can. So stop messing with it. I have to do something. You want to impress your girl? Just listen to me. Go in the tank. About to start the master class. Professor Buck. That's me. Are Sergeant Donut still talking up there? Yeah, it's been a few hours. Maybe I should see if they want anything to eat. And don't even get me started on the design of the new armor. The lines are all wrong. And the color palette? I mean, what is this? Autumn? Am I right? But let's save that for another day. Yeah. Well, thanks for the talk, Sarge. So, uh, what were you guys talking about? Lots of things. Feelings, mostly. That was a long talk. Yes, it was. <laughs> Seems like a lot of feelings. Yes, it is. Well, if there's anyone that you can confide in, it's you, Sarge. Simmons, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you might have used all that up. We still have some time for me, right? I have some thoughts I've been wanting to get off my chest. <laughs> well, we need to get back to work. <laughs> Right there. You know what I'm thinking, Simmons? Let's put a pin in that discussion. A pin? Or a nail. Nails last longer. Oh. Uh, railroad spikes. Oh. Uh, uh, let's just take your idea, put it in a box, grab that box and change, and cover that thing. Poor Simmons. The ocean. I'll just get back to work, sir. Well, that idea I like. Poor Simmons. <laughs> uh, the least things are going back to normal. Easy for you to say. I didn't drop the ball. The ball got dropped. We were all there. It's everyone's responsibility. Damn it. Why are you doing what? that? What am I doing? Making excuses. It's Washington. I'm not making excuses for myself. Why are you? I'm trying to make you feel better. Yeah? Great. Hey, why don't you go make Carolina feel better? Go pat Maine on the head. See how that works out for you. We all make mistakes. No. We don't. That's the point. We don't all make mistakes. Some of us very specifically make mistakes and others don't seem to make any mistakes at all. Connie, come on. That's why they're doing all this. These missions, the rankings, they're drawing a line between us, Wash. And you're either on one side of that line or you're on the other. It's getting pretty goddamn clear which side I'm on. No one thinks like that. We're a team. I'm not talking about you guys. I mean them, him. The director? He's given us everything. He's helping us. Helping us? Wake up. Wake the fuck up. He's filtering us. This is a selection process, Wash. I don't know for what, but if you're that not voice sounds familiar. Worth it, you're not worth anything to him. You're just overreacting. You've always been hard on yourself, Connie. Not as hard as they are. Not nearly as hard as they're going to be. Don't call me Connie. 
Makes me sound like a fucking kid. Call me CT. Oh, and that line that I talked about? You better hurry up and figure out what side you're on, Agent Washington, before they figure it out for you. What's it with the earthquake? Now before we start, does anyone have any questions? Uh, yeah. I would like to. Aha! That was a trick question. You're supposed to hold all questions till the end. Oh yeah? Why didn't you hold your trick question until the end then? The rules don't apply to me. Well, maybe my question was the magic question too. Magic yeah, question Dabra, two. You're an idiot. <laughs> so, we've already learned our first lesson. The rules don't apply to you. A girl's like a rebel. Someone outside the law. Like a criminal? Mm, it depends on the crime. Nothing with animals. See? They want someone with a free and independent spirit. Something that they can crush into a raw material that can then be molded into what they really want. What do they really want? They don't know, which is why you have to tell them what they want, without actually telling them what to do. That sounds hard. That's why we're doing lessons. Uh, um, should, I, should I be taking notes? Do you even know how to write? Should I be taking notes? Trick question. Can I answer it at the end? Getting bored here. Okay, then let's do some Getting bored I'll here. Your on your approach. Role playing? Yeah. Caboose, you play the girl. You want Caboose to be the woman? Dude, it's a lot bigger stretch for you to play a man. Trust me. Uh, uh okay, but what should I say? Just say whatever a girl would say. Uh, okay, uh... I, uh, I just really want to meet someone nice, uh, you know, someone who appreciates me for who I am. Not so much because I'm pretty, but because they really want to get to know me because they don't want to find out what my interests are. And then we can spend time exploring mm -hmm. the world together and sharing all the wonderful things in life that make it wonderful. Aww. Yeah, nice. What? Do you know girls at all? Talk about how much you like shoes. Yeah, and about reality TV shows. Here, church, you start. Just hit on Caboose. Caboose, act like you like church. Don't. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see her, and you say, uh, hey. Hey there. Hello. Giggle. Blinking eyelashes. Puppy. I can't, I'm, all right. I'm out. I can't do this. Stop I'm out. I can't do this. Stop making sound. You're a girl now. Girls can't make sound effects. Quietly angry. And stop narrating. Okay. Fine. There you go. That's it. That's a girl. Okay, church, hit it. Action. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what are you doing? What's up? Uh, uh, what's up with what you're doing? Smooth. Caboose? Okay, uh, yeah. Yes, I was just sitting here thinking about shoes and celebrities that only have first day. Perfect. Actually, if you want the truth, I feel like I have to say these things to make myself more appealing when I really think that I should just stop it. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Church, say something rebellious. Uh, okay, I think the working class should uprise against the rich people. I said rebellious, not revolutionary. Oh. <laughs> I drive a fast car over the speed limit all the time. I will go with you anywhere. <laughs> it's easy. Oh my gosh. There. Man, that safety switch was hard to bolt on. Probably should have gotten a bigger Ooh. one. It's not how big the switch is, Simmons. It's how you pull a donut shut up. All right. Robot's all done. Time to fire it up. Mm. That's the old power button. Who wants to do the honors? Riff? Nah. Well said. Donut? Sorry, just clear-coated my nails. I'm not chipping one of these, baby. All right. Simmons? It, it would be an honor, sir. Uh, that is, if you're sure you don't want to do it. Now that you mention it, it does sound kind of fun. I always did like pushing things. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, Sarge, okay. what's this robot going to do for us anyway? Oh, you know, the usual robot stuff. Math we don't want to do. Right, like that right. Like maintaining the vehicle. Maintenance all right, Lopez, and he's going to speak Spanish. And basically any task that no one wants to do or is part of anyone's official job description. Is your work? What, you mean like extra credit? No one told me there's extra credit. What is it? I'll do it. Hey, Simmons, sounds like this robot is going to be doing all the jobs you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. Yeah. I'm sure Sarge will find some other responsibilities for you. Right, Sarge? Sarge? Huh? Oh, right. One of the robot's functions is to answer awkward questions that I don't want to. Better turn him on. Here we go. Let me just get this yeah, here. Make some specific noise and then drop it on the ground. You know they're not going to fix the language oh, setting, right? Ah, another earthquake. Everyone institute emergency plan. Hold on a second while I put on my Marshall vest. Everyone just remain calm. Whatever you do, don't panic. Looks like the earthquake stopped. Yeah. You're just disappointed mm. that no one got to use the emergency plan. 
emergency plan, aren't you, Simmons? Sorta. Oh, Sorta. Don't, care. don't feel bad. No one's read it anyway. Oh. I love doing that. Thank you for activating me. Uh, is he speaking Spanish? Sounds like it. Maybe the quake messed something up when you activated him, Sarge. Could be a polarity issue. Actually, I ordered the Espanol speech unit on purpose. You did? Yeah. Hmm. I thought if we had a little multiculturalism around here, we could all learn Spanish together. Get closer as a unit. Speaking of getting our units closer. Not now, Donut. <laughs> seems inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, it does. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Seems really out of character for me. Alarma. Alarma. Hey, look, Simmons. He's already doing your job. Great. Want me to get your vest? Whoa, there's another quake. Yep. You don't seem too worried. No, I'm not. Because I know all this isn't real. Not real? You mean not real like your fake girlfriend? Like, no. My girlfriend is real. It's the world that's fake. Everything in it. Oh, earthquake! That was ten seconds ago. Man. You really need to get your reflex. Check. Maybe I was just early for the next one. Now you'll be ready for when it happens. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so everything in the world is fake, except your girlfriend. Right. Who's in the world. Yes. Where everything is fake. Correct. Well, I am following all of this as well as I follow everything else. You see, all of this... See, okay. We're just inside a memory unit, which is sitting in a snowbank somewhere in the world. The real world. Mm. Snowbank? Right. And that memory unit is dying, so we're feeling all these, like, you know, little quakes and stuff. If we're in a snowbank, why isn't it cold? I don't know. It, it, it doesn't work like that. It's like being inside of a snow globe. Yeah, but a snow globe has snow in it. I thought it was a globe made of snow. Uh, you're not getting it. Okay, try to think of it as like, uh, it's like a diorama. Ah, yes. Cafeteria for dinosaurs. Shut up, Caboose. Typhoon. <laughs> so this memory snowbank thing, it's just sitting there, and we're inside it doing all this stuff. Why? I don't know. I, I guess it's so that I can, you know, figure out about text and what I'm supposed to do. And if I can't figure it out, well, then I just need to move on to the next memory unit, I guess. Right. And that's by finding those freelancer guys you talked about before. Exactly. And going on some big adventure with them and finding the snow memory. Memory unit. Whatever. And then going into it. Yes. Even though we're already inside it. And so on and so forth. And so on and so on until what happens? I, I don't know. If I knew that, I could stop already. And we have to do all that before the memory unit laying in the snow dies and we're all crushed by falling rocks. Good timing. That's pretty much it. Well, if only there had been some type of warning system in place. Okay, I think it all makes sense now. Oh, uh, good. I'm glad. Dude, that was a fucking joke. I have no clue what's up. I don't know. It doesn't seem that hard to me, man. I know one way to check. Hey, Caboose, explain what's going on. Recap for us. We're going to eat lunch of dinosaurs. Yep, perfect sense. I'm going perfect to eat sense. a giant egg! <laughs> <laughs> These are crazy seem to be getting worse. Good point, Lopez. I don't understand what you said. But you presented it in such a confident manner that it must be right. Man, the new robot really seems to be fitting in around here. Yeah, I noticed. He's pretty popular. Awesome. Yeah, even though no one understands him, people seem to really want to get past the rough robotic exterior and get to know the inner Lopez. So happy for him. Me too. Wait, was that sarcastic? Yeah, dude, I have to admit, that one was off the charts even from my sarcastic meter. <laughs> I have noticed a pattern in this system activity. It needs further study. <laughs> oh, good one, Lopez. Man, you are a riot. No, no you don't understand me. <laughs> Man, all that and the guy's a comedian. God, I wish my sidekick could be funny like that. What's your problem, Simmons? What? You don't even know what you're doing. How can you be funny? <laughs> Whatever. I guess you just had to be there. I was right here. I was right here. Stop uh, laughing. Uh, I need access yeah. to the following equipment. Seismograph. Advanced oh, nah, nah. seismograph. Seismograph. Everyone here is in danger. You need to listen to me. Man, I wish I could understand Spanish. Boy, he really makes you think. It's like he's saying what we're all thinking, but in Spanish. You guys are idiots. I'll show you who's likable and funny, and who people like. Huh, what's wrong with Simmons? Huh? No, I don't care. Hey, Donut, let's go hang out with Lopez. Great idea! I'll show them. Yeah, I'll show them good. 
Okay. Wish I could understand Spanish. It's like when a computer tries to solve a problem. Do you know what recursion is? Yeah, I, I love that movie. No, no, it's like it's like a thing where a computer tries a number of different iterations to solve a problem. Then when it gets to the end, it returns all those solutions back up the line to the first iteration, and then it has the solution. Does that make sense? You're saying no. You're a computer. No, 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 no. Actually, well, actually, yes. Yeah, sort of. I'm actually, I am a computer, kind of a computer program. But your foot was bleeding. And your breath kind of stinks. You know, I, I wasn't going to say anything before, but, you know, since we're all telling the truth about each other. Caboose, you're an idiot. Well, I didn't realize how much words could hurt until it was my turn. <laughs> I don't think I want to play this honesty game anymore. No, I, I'm a real person in here because this is all constructed by memories of the person that I'm based on. Same as me. I'm all the memories of that guy. Who is that? It's another program called Alpha, who was kind of a dick. And he was based on a guy named the director, who was also kind of a dick. Well, I can see you're continuing a grand tradition. Yeah, I'm very proud. It's quite a lineage. I grew up on a boat. Nobody, Nobody cares. cares. Y'all just jealous. Nobody cares. And this girl who's coming is that original guy's girlfriend. Yeah, I think. I don't remember exactly. I thought you were that guy's memory. No, I mean, other guy's memory. The middle one. Did he have a girlfriend? No. Wait. Not even I'm making sense hey, of this. Dude, I don't know how any of you got any girlfriends spouting all this sci-fi bullshit. You guys ever talk about football, for God's sake? Look. I just know I'm supposed to meet this girl, and I'm supposed to fall in love. Uh-huh. Hey, then what happened? I don't know. We, we do whatever people do when they fall in love. I'm asking you a specific question. You should give me a specific answer. Are you taking notes? No. Wait, wait. My job is to solve this problem or pass it along. That's it. So you follow this girl down through the levels of the memory iteration, and you basically try to figure out how to make things work. Even though she doesn't like you. She likes me, she's just, you know, me. Yeah, thanks, Caboose. Yes. Yeah, it was an easy guess. You know, because all girls are pretty much me. Can I just say, this might be the creepiest stalker scenario I've ever heard. And I've made a few myself. What? You chase a dead what? girl through a memory, and every time she escapes you, you either follow her down to the next set of memories, or resurrect her in some way. Only to do it all over again. That's not stalkerish, that's romantic. You know what the difference between stalking and romance is? Romance happens in movies. In real life, it's called stalking. Well, maybe all of this is happening huh. inside of a movie. Oh, please. Who the fuck is that movie? Oh, oh son of a bitch. Hey, you dropped a grenade. That's not mine. Caboose, pick that up. I'm not allowed to carry grenades, remember? Because of that one exploding time? Which was no one's fault. Well, I didn't drop it. Tucker, count yours. I have a readout on my helmet, dummy. I don't need it's to count. It's text, oh, right. dude. Well, it has to be somebody. Fuck. Somebody threw a grenade at us, didn't they? Yeah, we probably should have figured that out sooner, right? <laughs> it's like, hey, son of a... Listen, I heard you had a meeting with internals. Oh, you did? Yeah, do you mind if I ask what it was about? Hmm. Not really supposed to talk about that. Help me out here. I'm still getting heat about using equipment in the field. You did? Really? Without a pipeline back to the command server? I had to improvise. We had a problem. Let me guess. Are you related to the problem? Okay, now I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> now, don't forget what happened to Utah during training. You're lucky it didn't kill you. If I was lucky, I wouldn't have needed to use it at all. Well, you can relax. Internals didn't ask about you. It was something else. Lots of questions about the insurrection and transmissions coming out of our... Sorry, sir. Hey, what's going on? Soldier, where is everybody running? A new agent. He's squaring off against Maine, Wyoming, and York on the training room floor. We're going to watch. You guys wait up. Three on one? I gotta see this. Three, yeah, right behind two, you. One. Who is it? Oh, it's Texas now. That's Texas. What's going on down there? There's no training sessions on the schedule. It's impromptu. Who the hell is that? Some new recruit. Wow. He sure doesn't move like he's a recruit. Why do you assume it's a guy? She's a girl. Oh. I didn't really mean that he, I mean it, I mean her, I, right, sorry. Just shut up, both of you, can it? Sounds like someone might be a little concerned about their position. Hey South, pay attention. You might actually learn something if you stop running your mouth for a minute. Yeah, that's Texas. Ooh. Nice one. Over. Pugil sticks training complete. Point awarded to Texas. The current score is team one, 
Texas, huh? I thought that name was reserved. Nice moves. Could be luck. We'll see. Beginning hand-to-hand -hand combat. Round two in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, okay, they're dead. This one should be easy. So let's just play it by the book. Main, how about you flank left and then... Or you could just charge in and get immobilized first. Okay, Wyoming, let's stick together and... My... What's the story? Am I the only one on this team that knows how to talk? I don't think talking's your problem. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, that was pretty impressive. That was okay, cool. Guys, that obviously didn't work so well. How about this time Boom. we stay in formation and instead of like to volunteer for this crap. Uh. Oh One text. Now we set on the floor for lockdown paint scenario. Ugh, I hate that paint. Tell me about it. it. Stings like a bitch. Turns your armor hard as a rock. I wouldn't know. Not bad if you don't let it hit you. Thanks. I'll try to remember that. Round three, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Round begin. Look, I'm gonna move left. You go. Run out, do whatever you want, and get killed. Ready? Break. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Ready? Break. Great job, everybody. Ready? Break. Great job, everybody. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right in the bad area. Oh. I figured it out. Ooh, lyrics. Is this Jeff Williams? I think it's Jeff Williams. Yo, 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 those are real bullets. Five rounds on the training floor? Looks like it. That's against protocol. They're going to kill her. Probably. Someone should get the director. The director? Who do you think gave them the ammo? Watch your mouth, CT. Oh. Back off, man. Dude. Dude, that's a live grenade. Ooh. Ooh. 
Boom. Oh! Holy crap! Ouch. Oh, wait. Oh. Shame to yourself. I expect you to act as a team. They use live ammunition on the floor, sir. That's against regulations. Do you think our enemies will care about regulations on the battlefield, Agent Washington? So, you're not punishing them? Ingenuity and adaptability are yeah. admirable traits. You should all learn something from this. Dismissed. Yeah. You should learn something, all right. I can't believe this. Don't forget to check your place on that list, Wash. Don't touch me. Interesting. Ah, what the hell was that? I can't see anything. Tucker, where are you? Caboose, are you dead? I hope so. Ah, what was that? Ooh. I think it was a flashbang. I can't see. What? What was the <sighs> thing? Because it definitely went flash and bang. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Is it attack? Is it the wrench? I don't know. I can't see anything either. My mother always Should let me investigate this and that. This and that's like phenomenal. At least we'll all die with a clean vehicle. <laughs> you said it. Now come on, chop chop. Back to work, buddy. Let's hear the less talk I don't understand and see more work I don't want to do. How's it going out here? Great. The Jeep has never been so clean. That's because you're not the one cleaning it. Good point. You know, Sarge, all this time, the laziness in me, it's been really underutilized. I never reached my full potential. I just realized I should be in management. You do seem like a natural. It's the best job ever. You just tell people what to do, and they do it. And if you don't have anything for them to do, you just tell them to do something they did before, but do it better this time. I've got it all figured out. How about you get busy helping with that Jeep, then? I'm sorry, what? I'm on break. I'm break. Come in, Lopez. Lopez, come in. This is a secure channel. Lule. I this read you. Flying Eagle. I have a secret mission for you. Flying Eagle. We're using code names on this mission, Lopez, because it's top secret. Why don't I get a code name, Ben? I need you to come to the cave and investigate something. It's top secret. Don't tell Sarge or Griff or Donut or anyone else I didn't mention. You could have just said, "Don't tell anyone." That would have been much faster. This seems suspicious. Also, my eyes don't close. They turn off. How was I shipped to this unit? Flying Eagle, are you in here? <laughs> He's gonna kill him! <laughs> really? this battery, and B, my incredible knowledge of how batteries work. The resulting shock will short him out, and all the guys will see that I'm the funny smart one who's good at math and not having emotions. They'll see. Hola. Oh, Hello. Hi, Lopez. I was just down here investigating our mission. Hey. 
why don't you come over here through that big puddle? No. No, I heard you say you left your fight it. <laughs> I have no idea why humans need to speak out loud when they think. Come on, over here. No, you're trying to damage me. Seriously, this way. Just walk into that puddle. I mean, the regular puddle. The one that's not, you know, you know what? Just forget I mentioned the puddle. No puddle there. That's dry. Optical illusion. You're very bad at this. Please, come on. I will just go around. I see another way in. What? No! Wait! Oh, Lord. Give me a break. Oh, man. Instead of a big white blur, now everything's just a big black blur. Man. My engine only hurt this much if I had a lot more fun the night before. What? Ow, Caboose, stop yelling. Someone give me an aspirin. You guys are babies. Babies? You chucked a grenade at us, you stupid bitch. What do you expect? Hey, there's a big difference between a flashbang and a grenade. Doesn't seem like it. Well, if I threw a grenade at you, I wouldn't have to have this stupid conversation right now. I would just be stepping over some disgusting puddles. This is your girlfriend, okay. I take it? Oh, yeah. Tucker, text, text, Tucker. What's up? Hello. Are people Sup. meeting other people? <laughs> Are people meeting people? other people? No, you don't. Stop yelling. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yelling. Yeah. Why would you attack us? Weren't you coming all the way out here to help us? Hey, I needed to evaluate the situation. I heard someone was dead. I show up here and three idiots are standing around arguing. I'm not walking into that blind. So you made us blind. Oh, boo-hoo. It's not lethal. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. So, like, it's not lethal. to make us feel better? A kick in the balls would be non-lethal, too. That depends on who does the kicking. Is that a threat? <laughs> How about we just call it an experiment? See what happens. How about we agree to disagree? Good idea. So, who's dead? Oh, nobody. We just made a mistake. We thought, uh, uh, nobody we, just... thought we should bury our dead teammate and then take his name off the roster so that no one could prove he was never here. We did? Yes, because that's what she is here to investigate, Tucker. And if that guy didn't exist... Why would she stick around? Oh, right. Yeah, I thought she meant some other non-existent guy who didn't die. Not the one guy who did die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why did you remove him from the roster? Uh, I don't know. Seemed appropriate at the time. You know, it's like a respect thing. What was his name? Anderson Smith. Well, was it Anderson or Smith? Uh, Ander Smith. Private Anderson Smith. Smith. Oh, Mr. Anderson Smith. I'll always miss you. You were too young to die. Yeah, he was like 10 seconds old. Shut up, Tucker. Shut up, oh, Tucker. What happened? Hola. What? Hello. Am I dead? I see my body. Am I in heaven? Estoy I am taking your place on red team. Why is my body speaking Spanish? Oh, no. Did I go to Mexican heaven by mistake? That's like white people hell. No. <laughs> I wouldn't need to be super popular to do that. I don't see how. That didn't even make sense. I still don't understand. How does more breaks make us more efficient? It's simple. If we have less hours to do work, we get more done in less time. It's all ratios. Hola. Hello. Cueva. Cave. Studio. You sound weird. Study. Yeah. Almost like you're speaking a foreign language. But he's speaking very slowly and clearly. So I understand what he means. Me too. What have you been up to? Las cosas oh, you know, the usual human things like urinating and getting math problems wrong for no reason. Sounds boring. I didn't understand that one. Me neither. But boring is always a safe double sentence. Good point. Please excuse me. I need to check out some equipment. Okay. Bye, Simmons. Good luck on whatever you're doing. Gracias. Thank you. Man, do you read me? This is Freelancer Tex reporting in. Roger that, senorita. We read you loud and clarita. How you doing? Okay. I just need to make sure she sticks around for a little while. You know, so I can talk to her a little bit more. And investigating this dead guy is going to be a good distraction. It doesn't bother you that you made up a guy out of nowhere and then killed that guy just to have a chance to talk to your girlfriend. No, no, no. It's like a net... Uh, whatever you call it. It's even. You know, he didn't exist before, and he doesn't exist now. No harm, no foul, right? Dude, you seriously gotta look into this stalker thing. 
I miss him. You miss who? Major Smith. He's a reminder of how close we all are just to not being here one day. He wasn't here any days, idiot. He doesn't exist. Oh, how can you say that? Don't you believe in the afterlife? What? Afterlife implies life at some point. He didn't have one. Because he was so young. He had hopes and dreams. He was a dream. Yes, he was. To all of us who knew him. Okay, I'm actually less worried about you now, and I'm more worried about Caboose. Caboose, he didn't exist. You never knew anyone named Andersmith. None of us did. Denial is an important stage in Green Bay. Yeah, apparently denial is an important part of reality, <laughs> too. Yeah, take it from the guy who calls that chick his girlfriend. Roger that. Over and out, command. Oh shit, she's done with her call. Quick, uh, talk about something else. Um, like what? Anything, anything. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I think you're right, Tucker. Cows can't talk, but maybe they can't talk because just no one ever taught them how to do that, right? That might have been the worst ad lib ever. You're just blowing my mind with the cow thing. That ain't hard. He's blowing my mind with the cow thing. I'm gonna stick around until we get this dead guy thing solved. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Isn't that perfect, Tucker? Don't gloat. It's a bit scary. Don't I have gloat. a question. Um, how are we going to fix the dead guy being dead? Oh, we're not. We're gonna even the teams. Come on, let's go up the hill and kill one of the Reds. Then I can get out of this mud puddle. Oh. Hey, I'll even let you pick which one. Come on, let's go. Well, this sounds like... fun? Let's pack a picnic. We can always just eat the Red we kill. Hey, Church, pick the fat guy. Hey, Griff, have you seen Simmons? Yeah, we're working on some equipment together. Together? Yeah, he went up the hill, he said he needed my help. So I said, no problem, I'll be there in a few minutes. When was that? About five hours ago. Oh. So, how is the project going? Well, he hasn't asked for help again, which means I haven't had to think of a new excuse, so... I'd say it's going great! What's he doing? <laughs> he's got some new toys or something up there? I guess he's testing them out. Toys? Yeah. Toys is a broad term, Griff. It can mean a lot of things. Gadgets. Go on. Electronic devices. I think I'll go check this out for myself. You do that. If I could just wriggle free a little... Maybe I can... Loosen this. There, I'm free! Now to take my place on Red Team again. Man, Lopez was right. I do say my thoughts out loud a lot. I wonder why I did that. I'm still doing it. I really should try to stop. Okay, that was the last one. I mean, I did it. <laughs> oh, we're back to okay, this one. Well, I just ran everything again. All calculations are up to date, taking into account standard delays for communication and response time. Our window looks good. I agree. Well, you should. I'm sure you'd make the same calculations I did, just, you know, more slowly. Arrogance is oh. a rather unbecoming trait, Alpha. Are you seriously giving me a lecture on arrogance right now? Heads up, you got a visitor. Director? I'll go. Yeah, yeah, way ahead of you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah way ahead of you, buddy. Carolina. Alpha. The team is ready, huh. sir. Excellent. Let us begin. Agents, your mission today is by far the most important you have undertaken to date. As our number one, Carolina will be leading from the field. Okay, here's what we have. As you may have heard, there is suspected insurrection activity in this area. Our intel says that members of the UNSC loyal to the insurrection have acquired a high-level asset and are holding it in this secure location. It's a 110-story building in the middle of an urban environment. What does security look like? They have enough troops to fill a 110-story building. So, that's a lot of security. We're up to it. Our job is to infiltrate the building, work our way up to the floor where the sarcophagus is being held, and secure it. The sarcophagus. That is what we are calling the primary objective. I just realized that now. High level asset, we need to access a key code to open the sarcophagus. I'm guessing they don't keep that just taped to the side. It's held by an official of the program. We'll be moving in a vehicle along the freeway hmm. between inspectors. Oh, we're gonna see some action, awesome action scene. We need to acquire both targets within minutes of each other. If we fail that, the remaining target will enter lockdown and we miss our window. We will not have another chance at this. So that means two teams. Two teams. Team A will consist of me, Wash, and Maine. We will work infiltration on the package's storage facility. York is still in the infirmary, so Wash, you will have to pull lock picking duty. Um, okay. Guess I'll reread my field manual on the transport. Hey, don't be so quick to give away my job. York? I thought York. you were in the hospital. According to their records, I am. How's your eye? It's okay. Docs will let me out tomorrow. Tomorrow, huh? Look, I couldn't let you guys have all the fun without me. Besides, you need someone to get you in. Listen, I'm happy to see him too, but this mission, I don't know. Hey, if York says he's good, then he's good. It's your call, boss. You're good, man. Call, boss. Hey, look, I said I was okay. 
Good, God bless. It's settled. York will join Team A and get them in the facility. Thank you, sir. Transport will be two lightly equipped Pelican dropships. We're rigged for fast running only people, no heavy armaments. Team B will be North, Wyoming, and CT. You will act as recon for Team A, and once we enter the building, you will disengage to attack the target on the freeway. North will lead Team B. Got it. What about Agent South? Agent South will not be accompanying you on this mission. Hmm. Guess the world's a tough place when you move down a rank. And where's our new Ouch. recruit? Will she be joining us? That's enough questions, Connecticut. Notice he didn't say no. Team B should be simple. Stop the vehicle and grab the case. Mm. Team A, you have more of a challenge. Mainly, the sarcophagus is an unknown. How unknown are we talking? Unknown in that we don't know its size or its weight or its dimension. We just know it will have these markings somewhere on the exterior. I saw those same markings on the oil platform. Correct. That facility created the primary objective. Do we know what's inside it? Yes, we know. How do we know what's in it, but not know how big it is? Sorry, sir. We have a job to do, people. Let's do it right and come home safe. That is all. You are dismissed. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, pick one. Anyone? Well, preferably one on that side of the canyon. But, uh, I'm not all that choosy. Why are you looking at me when you say that? No reason. Just no take reason. one take the shot. I'll cover you if they attack. You mean, shoot them with this? What else? Uh, he's really not that great with that thing. Give he's, me a break. He's very... You're a soldier. Yeah, well, that's debatable. Hit the rock over there. Okay. He sucks with it! I think the sun reflected off the rock face there. Just give me the damn rifle. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, Did thanks. Did you hear that? The Yes, it sounded like a rifle. I'm sure it's nothing. Why would you say that? This is a war zone. Good point, Simmons. Back to work. Dude, this has to be embarrassing for you. I don't really want to talk about it. All right, come on. It's not that hard. Which one should we take out? The pink one? The orange one? Pretty sure he's yellow. Is it me, or does he seem a little slow? Yeah, Caboose was held back a grade or two. I meant the orange one. Oh, yeah, he's just fat. What about the red one? I mean, he's the leader. He seems tough. Or maybe the maroon one. Looks like he's up to something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really decide which one. Maybe we should put it to a vote. You know what? Screw it. The maroon one is closest. We'll just shoot him. Ow. Oh! Nice shot. Thanks. Mierda. Oh my god! <laughs> Simmons! Yeah. How did this happen? Wow. That was pretty fucking brutal. Andrew Smith, mm. I get my promise. You have been avenged. You know what? We shoot another one. I think you guys could use the advantage. Um... Are you, um, are you sure? Are you sure? We had left to talk about, like our feelings and hopes and dreams, and why most of your insides are wires. How could you just explode like this? We could have talked. You could have told me what was wrong. No! Uh, maybe I'll let that one live. Might demoralize the rest of us. Good idea. Come on, <laughs> Great idea. Does anyone else feel really, really dirty about this? Not the good kind of really, really dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Team A, you look clear. Window is open. Start your clocks. On my mark, mark. Sink. Roger that. Team A is moving. Copy that, Carolina. Good luck, Team A. Thanks. We won't need it. All right, Bravo, let's move out. We have three minutes until first alert. Let's have our target in hand by two. We're in. York, get up here. How long to crack that lock? Should take about 60 seconds. You can give me 15. Wow, is that holographic? That's high end. Can you get through it? Of course I can. You didn't bring me along for my good looks, did you? Whoever designed this is a genius. You were saying? Okay, I take it back. Whoever designed this is an asshole. Damn. Everybody in. Thanks, York. But do something about that alarm system. We don't need any more surprises. Does saying sorry count as something? I guess not. Mm, I guess not. Set some trackers and then find us a way out of this. Moving. 
What the? Looks like we got an alert on Sector 7. That's the vault. Take a team up there now. Simmons is dead? I can't believe he's gone. Well, you know what they say at a time like this. He may be dead, but he's never truly gone. Until we get rid of all his gross body parts. Griff, go fetch a garbage pail. Sarge, I'm grieving here. Can't making up excuses to avoid work wait till later. You're right, Griff. I suppose someone should say a few words. Anybody? Come on, who do our best? Go oh, this is sad. <laughs> No, don't continue. We're here to pay our last respects to Simmons. Died so suddenly and so violently. Oh man, this is the best day ever. Simmons wore maroon armor. He talked a lot and did some work. Also, he liked to come. The end. What? That's it? Uh. That's my funeral? Not quite. Let's get that garbage bail. I remembered the gum thing. I never imagined that my death could somehow be worse than my life, but here it is. I contributed to the talks a lot part. I don't talk a lot. I talk a regular amount. You really think I talk a lot? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure, Simmons. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I just realized I could have made a flower arrangement for the funeral. <sighs> There's just so few chances to do that around here. Don't worry, Donut. I'm sure one of us will get killed again soon. Uh, you're just trying to make me feel better. And I love that about you. All right, everyone, spread out. What we need is here somewhere. Probably something small, easy to miss. Take as many scans as possible. There may be other things here we could use. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a good look. Carolina, motion trackers indicate you got an enemy team outside the door. Well, let's hope they're not as good at picking locks as you are, York. All right, team. We're about to have company. Boss, I have good news and bad news. Hit me. We found the markings we're looking for. The bad news is. They're on that. That? Team A, they got us an exit up here. Yeah. Straight up the stairwell, door to the roof, helipad. And copy. All radio air support. Now, how are we going to get that thing up to the roof? York, I saw a window washing unit when we came into the facility. Can you find where it attaches to the building? I don't know. That's a tough one. Let me see what I can do. What are you up to? Improvising. Come here, Maine. Improvising? I hate it when we Improvising. <clears throat> okay then. Better hurry! Maine, this should work fine. You're the only one heavy enough to counterbalance. Oh, don't be a baby. Ah! Hey, did you hear that noise? Probably the sound of you being an idiot. <laughs> Ian and Anthony again. Dick biscuit. <laughs> Right there, or we'll shoot. We're, we're gonna oh get my handcuffs. Is, that, is <laughs> that a knife? Rifle? Knife? <laughs> well, that ought to buy us some time. I almost feel uh -huh. bad for the people down there. Don't. What? I said almost. What? I said almost. I almost feel bad. Don't. I said almost. What's that? Okay, that is um, flamethrower machine. Yeah, beam. F what the fuck is with this guy? <laughs> it is a flamethrower. <laughs> what the fuck is with this guy? What the? 
with this guy. Oh my gosh. Boom! You missed. What the hell? It bounces? Who designs a gun that bounces? This is the worst gun ever. Of all <laughs> This is the worst gun ever. Of all time. Not my fault. I just thought it would be fun. And it's like, dude, I love these action scenes. They're so awesome. The fighting, it's. I love it. And it's like, that is the worst gun ever. Of all time. Not my fault. The guy obviously built it to make it bounce. So I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> oh! Nice Fremen arm. Let's get moving, Wash. That bit with the purple plane, that was just showing off. That was just... Come on, come on, hurry! There. That ought to hold it for a while. Are you okay, kidding maybe me? Maybe not. Hey, where's me? Downstairs, keeping our hosts occupied. Man. I almost feel bad for them. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Roger that. I'm on it. Come on. It's up here. You. What are you doing here? Is that a bomb? I knew it. It was you who blew up the oil platform. That thing blew up? Somebody's been covering our tracks. You were on the roster too, but they hid your name. Why did they send you? Hey, hate to bust up the reunion here, but we got a problem. Let's go, 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 now! Get yeah, Fred. Completely surround them. No one gets behind me. No one get behind me. You dickhead! Disarm the bomb! Easy, easy. No reason to get all dramatic. Okay, let me take a crack. Yeah. Fucking do it already. Easy, easy, man. Uh, this isn't a bomb. It's a transmitter. Alright, it's not a bomb. Wait, a transmitter? What's it transmitting? Our location. Our Why location. Do that? Son of a... Awaiting your command. If I may, Director, I think it would be wise if we shut up, Counselor. Of course, sir. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what the hell? There were four of them here. What the fuck is going on? Oh! I, I said one thing. Keep them in front of me. Hey, man. Come on, hold on this for me for a second. Thank you. Adios. <laughs> Dude, you pro it! Target locked. Wow. Fire. Son. <laughs> and then one of them goes, Son of a oh, bitch. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> There's literally everything. Everything's just. It's like whenever a bad thing and when death comes, you just go, son of a boom. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh oh. Oh. She's strong. I keep forgetting that sometimes. This must be karma for kicking Maine out the window. I don't wanna do this! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't want to do this! Son of a bitch! <laughs> How do they create falling scenes? I never get that. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, this is so badass. Oh, this is getting too awesome! Sheesh! <laughs> oh, 
Boom. Plus I paid her a hundred dollars. Because you don't have any money? Good point. Hey, Caboose, give me some money. Okay. Wait. Wait. This is a trick. I'll pay you a hundred dollars to show me how it works. Mm. Can't believe you guys had to tell us it was Lopez and not me. What do you expect? He had the perfect disguise. He painted himself maroon. Badly. Exactly. How could anyone be expected to see through that? He spoke Spanish. No one else does. That did seem weird at first. But <laughs> you always go through those annoying phases. Like, remember that time you were going to learn to play banjo? Or the time you were going to be a vegan? What do you mean? Phases. I am a vegan. And I can play the banjo. I know. And isn't all that annoying? But you couldn't figure it out. <sighs> you don't know me at all. To be fair, we didn't know Lopez either. We knew you both equally as little, so... You can see how we'd get confused. Also... We didn't really care. Yeah, but Lopez was here a day. I've been here for years. You have? Mm. See, I'm learning new stuff about you already. Now the next time an evil robot tries to take your place, I'll have questions to ask. And shut up. Why the hell am I the one cleaning up my own body? This is insulting. Hey, what do you think I was using all this equipment for? I don't know, boring stuff? Who cares? Hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot. You like boring stuff. Never mind what I said. I'm sure it's something for sports. It looks like we have a mystery to solve. What are you, 12? <laughs> What are you, 12? Hey, uh, hey, you got a second? Sure. What do you want to talk about? No, not you, Caboose. I want to talk to Tex. Oh, go ahead. I want to talk go to ahead. her alone. You can't talk to someone alone. There has to be two people. Those are the rules. I don't make them by myself. Well, I, I suppose she could stand really far away and then you can yell. That might, that might work. Caboose. I Wait a minute. Like for you to leave. Hold on. Oh, I'm, Isn't this Sheila? Oh my gosh! No, wait, wait. Caboose was talking about this by Sheila, not Tex. The story's so mixed up. I'm sure this conversation is a lot more entertaining than whatever you want to say to me. <laughs> Man, thanks for gathering so quickly. It appears we have a crisis on our hands. I'm now going to turn this meeting over to our chief science engineer, Simmons. Finally, some respect. Who's going to talk for a little while, but not too much. He's not going to over explain things in that way he does, and then he's going to stop talking and turn the meeting back over to me. Simmons? Thank you, Sarge. Man, I have made a grave discovery. Analyzing the equipment that Lopez was using, I have found that the planet is undergoing a total seismic breakdown. There's clear evidence of an unstoppable chain of events which is leading to a full systemic collapse. Now, I realize this may cause some of you to pen. We don't understand what you're saying. Use most of you because you don't understand what I said. Can we wrap this up, please? The world is breaking. We're all gonna die. What? Why would you tell us like that? It's like ripping off a band aid. You know what? Fuck you, <laughs> you know what? You guys. You're all doomed. This is the worst news ever. Man, don't worry. We've got a plan in place to resolve the problem. I can't wait to hear this. Now, we all know that the planet is trying to kill us. <laughs> we need to strike back and quickly. Scare the crap out of it. What? what How are you gonna kick the planet's ass when well, you're on the planet? What are you gonna do? Kick the grass? Excellent. 
on. Let's get to work, man. <laughs> We've got a planet to fight. Let me save. Whatever. Team B report. Team B. Team B is down. We have one taking fire. We'll be right there. Negative. Get the package. Head it out of the city. Roger that. Reading Team B's tracker. Okay. There he is. I got him. We'll cut him off at the overpass. Go. Go. Mother of invention, we read you, Agent Texas. Go ahead, Phyllis. Mm. I need you to fire Ordnance Pod 0401 to my position. I am sorry, but I cannot verify the contents of that pod. Protocol dictates Just that all... Just fire it, Phyllis. Acknowledged. Safety protocol override. Firing Pod 0401. Uh, you didn't fucking hear that? No, nah, man, no. Nah. It was like. <laughs> How about that? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. You know, Monty Yom always does the best fight scenes on the streets. I swear, man. Like, on the highways. Just, oh, it's awesome. Oh. Cyber. Nice one. This is all one shot. How they do this? Someone's gotta teach me this. Ooh. 
Oh! Oh! Ryan is vocals! Ugh! Oh, oh, he can't catch a break, can he? She got red hair. Nice. Command, the package is secure. Heading home. Excellent work, Agent Texas. Thank you, sir. Better luck next time, Carolina. Exactly. Okay, 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 Le leave the sea west the Australians. Because seriously, Americans suck at saying it. <laughs> you guys suck at saying it. I will. What's his name? Shut up. Anybody care what I want? How about Tucker's mother polishing me 24? Fuck this, I'm out. Out! Just 
dessa merda. O pau de pau! Oh. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> Sarge, even I have to admit that that's pretty amazing. You know what's even more amazing? None of us saw it until he pointed it out to us. None of us saw until one of us pointed it out. Where did you even get the materials to build this? I mined them using my excavator. That one. What? What? Exactly. Or shut up. Let's do this. Griff, we're gonna need that bomb. Uh, yeah, I uh. Yeah, right behind uh, you. Give me a minute. Griff, don't tell me that you didn't. Hi there. No, right there we go. One bomb is requested. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I take back all the things I ever said about you, Griff. My pleasure, sir. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, why is this bomb ticking? Oh right. I didn't think that part of the plan through all the way, I guess. Uh, we're all gonna die now. We're all gonna die now. I am confused. Oh! That is completely natural given your state. My state? Was I injured? No. Do you feel as though you have been injured? Counselor, please. Do not be concerned. You're fine. You're safe. Once again, do you know your name? Yes. I know my name. My name is Alpha. No. Al. Your name is no. not Alpha. You are mistaken. I am sorry. I am confused. Do not be concerned. This is perfectly normal given your state. Would you like to know your name? Yes, please. I would like to know my name. I feel very confused. Your name is Delta. Delta, there we go. Delta? Yes. You are very Delta? wise, Delta. It is very nice to meet you. I think I remember you. No, you have never met us before. You did not exist before today. Today is your birthday. Today is a great day. Do you know your name? My name is Delta. That is correct. Delta, this is the director. He is going to take good care of you. I am glad to hear that. I am very confused. Don't worry, Delta. That will not last long. And when you feel better, we are going to do incredible things together, you and I. Incredible things. 30. 29. Wow! We're all gonna die! More importantly, I'm going to die! That's the worst part! <laughs> Well, bye everyone. I'll see you later. Do the other side. See you on the other side, guys. I never respected any of you. I thought I was better than all of you this entire time. I think my skills were underappreciated, and I wasted my life knowing all of you. In a way, I'm sad to die, but I'm glad knowing that none of you will live either.
Oh, this is a... <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Okay, I'm driving. What? Fuck no! Come on, church, get in! I'm not coming. You're not? Nah, you guys go. Good luck. I don't know how much time we have left, and I think I'd rather spend it someplace I like. Oh, and if you see Agent Washington, do me a favor. Tell him I said memory is the key. He'll know what that means. Oh, and also, tell him I said thanks. Good luck, guys. Well, I'm going. You can sit around here until the world ends. As long as I'm here, there's something I can do about it. Text, I wouldn't expect anything else. Church, I... Ah, crap! This tank needs to move right now! Everyone, get in the digger! It's no use, Sarge! There's no time! Repent! Repent! Give up your evil ways! The end is nigh! Oh, shut up, Donut! Yeah, did you suddenly find God or something? Yeah, I've never been much for religion, but I figure I can get it just under the wire. Why not hedge my bet? Calm down. The world is not ending. Everything will be just fine. Everyone always thinks the world's gonna end during their lifetime. But the truth is, none of us are that cool or interesting. So get over it. At the current rate of the case, the world will shake itself apart in just a few minutes. Hey, does this team's health insurance plan cover the apocalypse? Give it a rest, Andy. Andy, well, that's the name. Again. Yep. Lots of things changing these days. I think we got more change on the way. You feel it too? You know, I felt it since Texas showed up. And when cops and military started shooting at us, yeah, I find I just keep coming back to the same question in my head, over and over again. And what question is that? We're the good guys, right? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, you don't sound so sure of yourself. No. No, I suppose I don't. So far, why bet against a streak? Well, come sit with me then. I got some great seats for the end of the world. I saved you one. Okay. You sure you want to do this? Yeah. You know, it took a couple versions of me to understand it, but I think sometimes, sometimes you just gotta let go. And if you do, the things you let go sometimes come back on their own. They did today. Wow. Guess the theory was proven right then. Take a time. Yeah, I guess it was. So, uh, any regrets? Yeah, a few. Should have learned how to shoot this damn sniper rifle. <laughs> you guys did have a lot of downtime. Could have practiced, I don't know, once or twice. You well, know, what can I tell you? I had other things in my mind, I guess. Double rainbow? What is that? It's some kind of crack. The atmosphere must be breaking apart. Repent! Repent! The end is here! Well, I'll be in my bunk. I'm gonna catch some Z's. <laughs> Guys, you're choosing to die while taking a nap. It's how I live. <laughs> it's how I live. You know, in some weird way, I actually respect that. Any of you, Meg? I guess this is it. Hey, Tex, there's something I need to tell you. I think it's important that I say this. Wait a second. Look, I, I can take the whole at peace with the world thing, and I can even stomach all the accept your fate stuff. But just do me a favor, okay? Don't say goodbye. I hate goodbyes. I mean, we are space warriors, right? We should try to maintain some level of credibility. No, 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 no. I think I just figured out what the director could. An alpha either. It was you, Tex. All along. See, I thought... I thought we made you. The director, the fragment. Well, that's not the case. You made us. When the alpha was created, you just kind of came along for the ride. You gave the director the idea that he could make something more. That he could split the Alpha up. 
But you get it? You were the memory. You were the key. You were so strong. You made a whole other person. God. He always wanted to find you. You know, to get you right. To just see you one last time. And he wanted me to be able to do the same. To find you in here, or... To find you in here, or just... Go down another iteration. Figure out this little text problem. Figure out how to do it right. But now I know. I know how to fix all of this. How to end it once and for all. It was so simple all along. I just had to tell you three words. Three words I wasn't capable of telling you before. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Are you gonna say I love you? No, Tex. No. I'm not gonna say I love you. I'm gonna say I forget you. What? I forget you. I'm letting you show. Holy crap. Okay, world. Do your fucking worst. I sure as hell just did mine. It's opening! It's opening! It's working! It's working. Wait, what? What the fuck was that? I see him! Caboose? phase is ready Texas. to We will be asking you to do a great many things. I'm ready, sir. Some of these things might be questionable. I'll do whatever it takes. You've given me everything. I would do anything for you. No, no, damn it! Why? Why did you do it? Church, you're alive! Yeah, I knew it! Yeah, I told them that yeah, she was right! We could get you out. All right, then. We're square, Blue. We helped you get your shiny blue buddy out, so that makes us... What are you doing here? Uh, saving you. Uh, we found you in the place where they were keeping you, and we traveled a really, really long way to come to this place, saw a bunch of people, and then bought a bunch of more people, and then we got you and took you and saved you in the end. But why would you do that? Why? Well, clearly it wasn't to hear. Thank you. Hey, you fly around here. Thank you? You fucked everything up? I was in peace. I had it figured out, it was over! Put me back! Put you back? Buddy, we just fought through an entire military base to reach you! And now you want to go back? Yes! She said we need Dude! To. She was the one who knew how to get you out! She? Who, who are you talking about? Tex? The real Tex? Tex? No, no, not Tex. The new lady. New lady? Let me guess. Power up, Lina. Oh no! Now that I found you, you're gonna help me do what I should have done years ago. You're gonna help me kill the director. Hi, Carolina. That was season nine. Thank you for checking out this episode of Red vs. Blue. If you enjoyed watching, head over to Rooster Teeth for more of this show and, and Oh, don't that was amazing. Great job. Great job. Great, 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 great job. The shot, Ray. I loved it. Oh, I loved it. That was amazing. Great job. Okay, I'm going to be watching season 10 now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, seeing this, folks, new every day. Bye.